welcome to my channel and i'm back with you once again with another video of explain 11 uh, today in this video i will not be doing a flight but uh, i will be telling you one uh, setting which is required for the takeoff performance um, for the uh, airbus a320 for the flight factor uh, during the takeoff you have to actually set the flaps and uh, plus set the trim position uh, pitch up or pitch down do you want to pitch up during the takeoff or pitch down during the takeoff this is actually dependent on the center of gravity of the plane. Uh, center of gravity is the point in the plane where the where all of the load of the plane is is there. So let's say if the center of gravity is uh, slightly towards the rear side of the plane, you have to actually uh, pitch down during the takeoff because uh, if you pitch up during the takeoff, uh, there is uh, uh, a very huge chance uh, that uh, your plane will climb vertical in a very high speed uh, the vertical speed will be high obviously because the nose is pitched up if the center of gravity is at the back of the plane and if the center of gravity is in front of the plane is uh, slightly towards the front then you have to pitch up because uh, during the takeoff then you have to put too much uh, pressure on the plane uh, in order to take off uh, from the runway so that's why you adjust the, um, uh, the pitch uh, accordingly so that uh, the plane is pitched up or pitched down so how do you know whether to pitch up or pitch down this is actually based on the load sheet uh, based on the fuel and uh, plus the cargo I have right now prepared a, of a flight plan uh, which I obviously I'm not going to do it over here uh, just for the uh, fuel calculation so let's get to sim, uh, sim brief and uh, this is uh, the flight plan that I have that's from OPKC to OPIS that is from Karachi to Islamabad and alternate airport I have selected as OPLA uh, so this is the information that I have uh, in the system right now and I will generate the flight plan in order to see how much fuel the plane should carry for this flight it's roughly I think a two hours flight or one hour 45 minutes uh, flight depending upon the wind okay so if you go down over here you will see that you should be carrying uh, six tons of fuel that is six thousand five hundred fifty six kgs uh, including the uh, the takeoff fuel plus the taxi fuel and uh, the total fuel for the trip and uh, for the alternate so uh, the block fuel should be uh, 6.5 tons so this is the fuel that you should be carrying let's uh, get to explain 11 and uh, let's go over here to the fuel settings and uh, over here you can uh, first of all uh, you can have to call uh, the fuel truck and uh, that's it now you have to adjust the fuel so it's 6556 so you can adjust the fuel 6 uh, I think it's all right <laughs> I'll just keep it here so 6516 I think I can also enter it but anyhow so uh, this is uh, the fuel that I have set and then the passengers uh, let's uh, first of all call uh, the stairs and uh, once the stairs are there then you have to uh, you can set it to full passengers and plus if you're carrying any car cargo uh, so let's say uh, cargo all parts I am carrying uh, one roughly one ton of um, the cargo now if you go into the performance data this is actually um, uh, the chart which helps you uh, to identify the center of gravity of the plane and uh, zero fuel weight and stuff like this all this information is uh, given over here given over here so the weight of the passengers is 11,424 that is uh, it's there the cargo is uh, 1034 zero fuel weight is 53,788 total fuel on board is 6516 so total gross weight is 60,218 if you go over here you will also see the zero fuel weight center of gravity and plus the center of gravity so these are the two points uh, which uh, help you in order to uh, calculate uh, the trim position so it should uh, pitch up by 0.1 so it's very simple in uh, Microsoft uh, flight simulators uh, fly by wire Airbus uh, A320 this information is not there 
but the best part about the flight factor airbus a320 is this that you know in this tab this information is here so you don't have to refer to any charts or anything uh, you get this calculation as per the load sheet uh, so you get the center of gravity and plus the trim position so if i move to uh, the mcdu of the plane which is the multifunction control and display unit uh, you will see that if you go to init b so over here you can enter the zero fuel weight and the zero fuel weight center of gravity which is over here as I told you before so zero fuel weight is uh, 53 tons 53.7 and the zero fuel weight center of gravity is 28.6 so that's it so you if you enter this information over here uh, it's good and uh, if you go into the performance for the flaps um, the flaps for takeoff is one plus uh, F uh, but I don't know somehow I'm trying to enter one plus F but I cannot enter one plus F over here and just see if I can I guess I think there's a format as it's coming uh, let's keep it as uh, flaps one because um, during the takeoffs you want to uh, take less flaps during the landing you want to take maximum flaps during the takeoffs you want to take uh, less flaps because uh, flaps create drag and obviously uh, you won't uh, accelerate and plus uh, um, climbing to the required altitude will be a difficult job. That's why you try to uh, minimize the use of the flaps during the takeoff. So, so the best position is 1 plus F. Then you can also have a 2 or plus uh, uh, 3 configuration. Uh, but right now whenever I fly I go for 1 flaps. Uh, so let's uh, keep it as 1. If you look at the format it is uh, flaps whatever the position one two three or one plus f whatever then slash and over here if you refer to this uh, tab you will see it's uh, up 0 0.1 so it is up 0. Point oh sorry it's uh, it's the other way around 0 0.1 up remember this thing it is uh, written down like this uh, over here in the tab but it is entered the other way around it's uh, 0 0.1 up and uh, that's it so now you have set the flap and plus uh, uh, the trim uh, position for the pitch i hope uh, this video has helped you out in order to understand what the setting is and how to uh, calculate uh, the flaps and uh, plus uh, uh, the trim position for the pitch during the takeoff so this is how you adjust uh, the um, the takeoff performance for the abus a320 uh, for flight factor in uh, X-Plane 11. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. And uh, any positive feedback is also welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying with me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I keep on making different videos and I keep on uploading them to my channel so you'll get the latest updates. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.